The presidential primary season is ramping up, and today Democratic candidate Michael Bloomberg hit Chicago, but not before his ads did. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozloff reports with Bloomberg's wealth and other campaign war chests already overflowing, this could be the beginning of a record breaking campaign cycle. Six weeks after officially announcing his run for president, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is hitting the campaign trail hard. One stop, Olive Harvey College, the first presidential candidate to campaign here so far in 2020. So I hope you'll join me because this really is an election that we cannot afford to lose. One thing the billionaire Bloomberg can do is afford to run. He pledges he'll take no donations, funding his campaign himself. He's already running ads on Chicago television, including CBS2, rare before Super Tuesday. This is America. We can certainly afford to make sure that everybody that needs to see a doctor can see a doctor. And it's likely just the tip of the campaign cash iceberg. According to this New York Times article, Bloomberg spent $102 million on his 2009 run for mayor, the last race he ran. What he spent so far not yet reported to the Federal Election Commission. But it has the potential to trump, yes, pun intended, the amount of money other candidates have raised to date. The radical left doesn't stand a chance against young conservatives. Who are the other America top fundraisers so America. far? According to the latest FEC figures, President Donald Trump has $83,200,000 in his war chest. Democrat Bernie Sanders has $33,800,000, followed by fellow Democrat Elizabeth Warren's $25.7 million. And the Iowa caucuses are still almost a month away. And the FEC numbers are likely already outdated, with many reports stating the president, for instance, has raised well more than $100 million thus far. We'll know in just a few weeks the next round of campaign finance reports must be filed by January 31st. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.